got to be honest, this is the biggest challenge I've faced in my nearly 30 years as athletic director at Creighton. My heart is obviously broken for our country and for our world, but in my role, my heart is especially broken for our student athletes. Our daily routine is much different now than it has been in the past. We have to wear masks, we have to take temperature checks, we have small workout groups, we have to uh, follow the protocols that have been established. But our student athletes and our coaches have done a tremendous job of adapting and doing what was needed to be done. I've always said one of the great values of athletics is that the inconceivable can be conceived and then achieved. And uh, men's basketball this last year is a tremendous example of that. Not that long ago, it had been difficult to conceive that we would be in the best basketball conference in the country, the Big East, that we would win the championship, we would have a game to clinch the championship at home in front of 18,000 fans against a potential Final Four team, that we would be in the top five in the country in attendance, that we'd be ranked in the top ten at the end of the year, that we would be a potential two or three seed in the NCAA tournament the inconceivable being conceived and then achieved. And we're excited about this upcoming year. We've got uh, most of our team returning. We've got a top 10 team preseason. We're playing in a conference that has added UConn, further strengthening the conference. Uh, we've got an outstanding schedule. Uh, and so we're looking forward to this season. We have established protocols for play. Uh, the biggest concern for us is we have to face a reality of a season without fans. The reality is that over 75% of our athletics budget depends upon revenue from the men's basketball program. Without fans, we have an immediate $12 million potential loss in revenue, which is a significant financial exposure not only for this year, but for multiple years. Uh, while Men's basketball is critically important, so are all of our 14 sports and over 250 student athletes who all depend upon the revenue that we derive from men's basketball to operate a high quality Division I athletics program. So we're forced to face this issue head on. It's not just on you to help us solve this issue, it's a partnership. We have already taken significant steps to minimize the impact of the pandemic. We've furloughed staff. We have frozen salaries. We've put in travel restrictions. We've cut back on who we play. We've looked at every expense item we have and have evaluated it to cut out any unnecessary expenses. But unfortunately, we will have to do even more in order for us uh, to put forward a quality athletics program. We need you to be willing to go beyond what you have done in the past and to consider a donation option that is feasible for you. Regardless of your status or level of support, I simply ask that you review the information outlined in this website as it details the ways that you can help us and why. This includes next steps for men's basketball season ticket holders and J-backers on the options you will be presented with relating to your account. We can do this. We must persevere, but we need your help now more than ever.